Hello everyone. So this is the particular problem that we are going to address today. So here, when I get into a fight with these enemies, you can see if my character is too close to them, it kind of uh, becomes too close to them and it's it looks bad. See, so they are almost overlapping. Their items are overlapping. So what I want to do is maintain always trying to maintain. A certain distance if uh, the characters when the characters are fighting so if they are too close when they start the attack I want them to uh, jump back a little and do the attack so I have already implemented something to jump forward here like this you can see if the character is a bit far away character do a quick uh, step forward before uh, the attack but if it is too close it just do the attack without trying to step back so that's what we it's a very small thing but still it matters all right so how can we do that so first let me open the gameplay ability that perform the attack it's here G A Axot. Okay, now here we have this section adjust position animation. Uh, well, that not a good name, just let's call it adjust position. Maybe I have used the adjust position animation because I am adjusting the position through an animation, but that's not clear enough. Okay, now uh, so here, let me get a bit of a space. Now, here, what we do is we calculate the distance between the closest enemy and the current character and the actor who is doing the attack so attacker and the target we are simply calculating the distance and compare it with the range of the weapon so if we are already away from the range of the weapon then we perform this we play this montage let me show it it's in my other screen this montage so it's a quick montage that moves the character forward so we can make sure the attack lands on the enemy and also based on the distance I change this uh, starting position either from midpoint or the default point so like this so if it is default point the amount that we will move forward will be uh, reduced if it starts from the default if it start from the beginning it will be larger if it start from the middle it will be half of that amount so that's why I have these two sections now in the same way if we are too close I want to make the character move back so perhaps we should do that check and this falls we can have another branch and if it is false we don't need to do anything but if it is true so what is true we can multiply the weapon range from something like 0.6 so that if the character is in a less distance than 0.6 amount of the weapon range so we need to compare that with the distance so if this distance is less than 0.6 amount of the weapon range then I need to make the character move away from the target so he, we would need another montage just like this and maybe we don't we, let's always make it play from the mid just for testing and actually i don't have a montage 
that makes the character move back okay so uh, let's duplicate this sword and shield evade forward montage sword and shield evade backward montage oh wait i already have a montage so let me remove that this montage this is also evade back so we can use it here i need to make sure this animation that i'm using uh, root motion enabled maybe let's enable the force root lock as well and here we don't have two sections so maybe let's create a new section here Oh, this is the animation, not the montage. Right. Okay. And let's use that montage. All right. And also perhaps may we should speed up that animation a little bit just to see how it works in action okay let's move too close yeah yeah see now it adjusts I think that is speed is better. No, it should move back. Yeah, it moved here, but this in this distance, it didn't. Okay, so I uh, move this uh, midpoint over here and then I increase this to rate 2 and it started from the midpoint and that looks a little bit bigger, uh, better. Here is the demonstration. If I go closer, see, now it seems reasonable. Now in this range we don't move back but if we are too close we move back before the attack that See. okay so yeah okay so that's all i want to cover in this episode so thanks for watching updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and you can watch the all other episodes of this playlist of this tutorial series uh, from this playlist i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below so to the date there are 135 videos in this series so in 
I, sh I have shown from scratch how each and everything, every feature that you are seeing in this project implemented uh, through this playlist. So you can watch them all for free. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in another episode. Goodbye.